All right, this is sympathetic. Sympathetic division. That is the spinal cord. The front right here is going to be for motor and the back is usually for sensory. So we have our nerves off of here. Um, it's called the dorsal root ganglia. It is right about there. Uh, and then this is the ventral root that comes into that. And from here, since it's sympathetic, we're going to the sympathetic chain. Um, basically, two ways to do that. So when it's a God bless you. When it is a motor function, it's gonna be coming from anterior through here. It's still myelinated, so it has to go around and into here where it synapses. Um, because it's still myelinated, this is gonna be called the white ramus. And then it synapses right here. Now, because of the chain, you can go synapse with other parts of the chain. But now it's unmyelinated. Um, this is how you get the mass effect. So like a tiger jumps out at you and everything's ready to go. Um, the next place where it could go is out the gray ramus. Let's see if I have gray. There we go. Gray ramus, and that is to the body. seen here so and then there's also another way to do it this is from T1 to T4 thoracic vertebrae 1 to thoracic vertebrae 4 it synapses in sympathetic chain do the simp chain and why is it overly? Huh. And then say for example we are under 
under diaphragm this would have to example here we go we'll go in green come from here Yada 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 yada. Come in here. You can either one go down or two just go through. Follow me into something called a terminal ganglia. where it synapses and so that's collateral ganglia where it synapses as things like the chain but only for one so there is the celiac and a couple others I can't remember so hopefully that was nice. Remember, if it's under the diaphragm, it does not synapse and chain. And if it's T1 to T4, it does synapse in the chain. And that's how you get the mass effect. So adrenaline pumping, eyes, dilated and all that jazz. All right.